Hello, what's up people? Hello everyone. <laughs> it's Tom and Tushi. If you are new here, welcome to our channel and welcome back to all our subscribers. We are going to hospital to meet uh, our midwives. We have an appointment. Uh, I am 40 weeks and one day. Actually, yesterday was my due date, but our baby, she doesn't want to come out. I think she, if she feels very cozy inside my belly. So just to monitor her heart rate or monitor her health, or I don't know. I don't know what they are gonna do, but they are gonna monitor her. And yeah, I hope everything is fine. Uh, three days back, we we went uh, we went to our gynecologist she says she said everything is fine but today we have an appointment with the midwives again so we will go and monitor our baby's health and how she's doing so we have reached the hospital and we are currently monitoring my wife's blood pressure and the baby's heartbeat which is shown over there and it's looking very good according to the midwife also checking the, my, uh, whether there is any contraction or not. Yes. This is the contraction. Yes, you're right. And my baby yeah, is contraction. moving a lot, jumping a lot. Contraction and heartbeat, it's like that. Oh. Yes, or the other way around, I can't remember. Oh, she's moving a lot. Okay, baby, it's okay. Oh, blood pressure is coming back. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, every every five minutes, uh, they are checking the blood pressure. Hello guys, guess what? My baby is here! No kidding! <laughs> I'm still so very pregnant and here is a quick update. Today we are going and man is looking at us. I'm a bit uncomfortable <laughs> but it's dark so I, I think... Why did he wait and look at us? We have another appointment with the midwives. We are on the way to the hospital um, it, it, it's third time now since we are doing this uh, monitoring uh, procedure. It's three times since uh, my, the day after my uh, original due date onwards. We have been going every after two days. And everything seems fine. Uh, even though um, I am overdue, my pregnancy is overdue uh, since there is no risks to my pregnancy uh, our gynecologist wanted me to wait and see for a little bit more time uh, she said the labor might begin anytime we have been waiting but nothing is happening and it's uh, officially the 41st week of my pregnancy so I think today um, she will shuttle a time for me uh, to have an induction if i don't show any sign of labor so i'm a bit nervous also excited also but also i'm already tired of waiting and waiting so i just want to hold my baby in my arms <laughs> so finger crossed let's see what will happen <laughs>
today is induction day today is the day guys things are finally moving it's happening things are finally happening so we had our baby monitored on thursday and the doctor suggested to do the induction and they took corona test on me and it came negative and later today uh, in the evening at 8 p.m they will induce me i am a bit scared nervous excited all those mixed emotions are on me you name any feelings and i'm feeling all that right now but i'm also happy that things are finally moving forward like i have been waiting for such a long time it's already 41 week and uh, 41 weeks and two days already so i've waited for so long and things are finally happening so at least i'm happy for that and today we had a very busy day just arranging things and also i was just double checking my hospital bags because i feel like ages ago since i packed my uh, hospital bags so i was double checking that and right now tom and i we uh, we will be taking some pictures as a farewell saying goodbye my big belly <laughs> so we, we will take some pictures and what happens next we will keep you guys updated till then see you so we are going to the hospital are you excited yes very much <laughs> he is excited and it's um so crazy like not crazy but it, it, it's such a happy feeling that my daughter is going to be born in the same hospital where his father was born so <laughs> we are happy about that and after the birth we will stay in hospital for three days and in case if c-section then maybe more more than three days but i'm not sure how many days and yes we are two now uh, as a family but when we return home there will be three of us another new member in our family and we are so excited for that and you yes i'm as well <laughs> he's so much focusing on the yeah, road actually the car was just uh, yeah. passing the car and it was straight right in front of me so i didn't know if i had to slow down or something because it was like nearly crashing into me <laughs> it's crazy but it's okay i feel blessed uh, getting our first baby that's great. Yeah. So. See you all in the hospital then. Yeah. See you there. Hello, we are here in the hospital in our room and it looks quite comfortable and cozy here. I will show the room. This is my husband. <laughs> this is going to be my bed. And it's a comfortable shift chair. Yeah. That's the first chair. Mm -hmm. And there is TV here, another bed, and here I can keep my clothing. I can hang my jacket here. It's quite warm in the hospital. And here is the bathroom shower yeah and mm, what else and here is a door like a ah it's to change the baby to bath the baby i don't know and oh the baby's bed nice it's a nice room it's a nice room i like it they will explain which person covered the they will explain it's got very big uh numbers <laughs> for very old people yeah this is it i like the room very much and it's eight five right now are you receiving treatment for a low blood pressure no no yeah tom is filling out some forms while i am being monitored here 
they're checking the baby's heart and my blood pressure and everything and here is the TV we are going to have some chai mm, we are waiting for the midwife to come and induce me it's almost 10 30 but she is not here yet and I want to drink chai but she is not here yet and what are you doing just uh, checking the purse what it is and, uh... yeah he brought his mini laptop to work on his research are you gonna do that even while I'm in labor for you yes <laughs> love you It's four past seven and we think that my water broke. We are not so sure but the midwife will check again and here we are monitoring again. And here I am just a little bit tired. Around 12 uh, the midwife told us to rest for some time. But we really could not sleep. I think it's because of the environment, like everything is new, or just because of this situation. But we really could not sleep. But the good news is, uh, the midwife thinks my water has broken. So I'm a bit relieved. But she will come again and recheck. So we're just waiting. And. I just want things to happen so quickly I'm just so tired but I know it's not gonna happen quickly but I'm just hoping for the best okay they brought us breakfast in the morning it's 8 20 and this is Tushis this is mine uh, Tushis has breakfast with tea and uh, jam and mine is breakfast with coffee and choco so hers is slightly more healthy because she's gonna need it i'm just on a holiday so to speak hello guys we have been shifted to the delivery room and i will show you around there's my wife with a catheter we call it ivy ivy yeah that's such ivy um just to keep her The items in this box have a purpose that um, my wife and the baby can have a skin to skin contact for one hour. So they warm a bonnet and some towels uh, so that the baby can be warm and cozy together with my wife. Here are some exercise balls and other things to exercise with. And then if we go here, there's the bath. This the midwives will use to help her get relaxed. My wife has finally received an epidural. Uh, she had to wait for over an hour uh, for the, the um, anesthesia doctor as, he was, as she was uh, helping someone to receive a C-section. But now she's feeling much, much better. Uh, here she can improve the uh, drugs to help her uh, soothe her pain and over there, to press the button uh, there if I need more yeah energy. and and the machine is made in such a way that she cannot get an uh, an addiction and over there we can see a monitor which uh, regulates the or which which uh, checks I should I should say the heartbeat and the 
of the baby and the contractions of the mother. And uh, also her, uh, she's also her blood pressure is being measured by that machine. Uh, yeah. The pain was so intense, the contraction. But after the epidural, I'm feeling much better. I think I will rest for some time now. Yeah. Well, I eat. She's not allowed to eat. Hey guys, just an update. I am still in the delivery room and nothing is progressing. It seems that um, I am two and a half centimeter dilated and it's not moving from there. So the midwife was saying that the doctor might suggest for a C-section. But the baby is fine. Here they are monitoring. I don't know whether you guys can hear the heartbeat but everything seems fine and yeah as long as i am healthy she's healthy natural birth or c-section it's the same thing <laughs> yeah so it's just a hope for the best Maybe I She looks just like you, like mommy. Like mommy. Like me. The Blake is Yeah. <laughs> She's just like mommy. My perfect daughter. Beautiful. My angel. No, 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 mommy is here, baby. Her nose is like mine. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, perfectly mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. Thank you. You're looking good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're doing a good job as always. Okay. Ah, she opened her eyes. Uh, <laughs> still okay? Happy? Yeah. Does she have a little hair? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>